Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Israel Christianity. Welcome to Green Pastures, especially the segment I've tagged Divine Pathways. We've been looking at the book of Romans many years back, which I called or titled Your Divine Pathways to Undeniable Blessings. I'm believing God that there are blessings that nobody can deny you. And this month, this year, your blessings, nobody, no devil can deny you in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the last few weeks, we've been looking at what actually is the right description of cheerful offering. I said you must give proportionately to what you have. God, God has blessed you with. You must give willingly. You must get beyond the grudging and slavish spirit. You, you are not grudging when you are giving it. You must also give honestly give from your heart let it come from your heart and um, uh, i also stress the fact that when you give give with a heart that wishes you could give more in other words whatever you are dropping out no matter how huge or small you are having the heart oh i hope i could do more that is the kind of giving that warrants the blessings of god and every time there's an opportunity to give in the Lord's house, never let the opportunity pass you by unless you are so impoverished to give anything at that time. Uh, you may never know that God is presenting an opportunity for your blessing. I always say this to my members, that every time there is a need in the house of God, it is an opportunity to be blessed by God. So when there is a genuine need in your church, and God is opening your eyes to it. Please, God is packaging you for blessing. And don't miss it. Let me share an experience with you, dated back as far as 1999. The church I served with then as pastor decided to be printing newsletter quarterly. But many of my council members did not want us to start it because it was not in the budget of the church. So at the council meeting, having listened to arguments for and against for about 40 minutes on the issue, I told the council that God will raise funds for the newsletter. And that was to be out the next Sunday. In other words, we've been planning this. We're having a council meeting on Monday, and this argument came. And the church was expecting the newsletter to be out by Monday. So I told them, oh, God will raise the money and we are going to have the newsletter. Many of them were not bothered anyway, as long as the money will not come from the church purse. When I asked the brother who was working on the project, who was working on the design and the printing, how much it will cost us to print the newsletter, he gave me a bill of 15,000 Naira for a thousand copies. Prayerfully, I decided to look for three persons in the church whom I believe could give us 5,000 Naira each. I thought of three names and I called them on phone. Two of them were willing to make their contribution available. Why did the third person give excuses why he would not be able to support? While I was thinking of who would replace him, I had God spoke to me that why can't you be the third person? But that was a tough request for my monthly salary then. 1999 was 8,500 Naira. I then talked with my wife who agreed with me that we should go ahead and sow the seed into his work. The following day, the total amount was ready and I gave it to the brother, helping us on the work. By Saturday evening, he called me that the copies of the newsletter was ready and he was bringing them to my office. When he brought them, I was so happy. When he arrived, he began with a statement that bothered me. Pastor, I made a mistake. Oh. Ah, <laughs> I was already saying, you made a mistake, thinking he wanted to ask for more money. I was saying, if this brother knew how I got the 15000 
he would not have made any mistake. But when he spoke, he said, actually, the money he expended on the work was just 9,000 naira. That he had a balance of 6,000 to be refunded. That he actually overcalculated the amount needed. When he left, the devil began to speak to me. He visited me, like he visits many of you hearing me today. What was the devil saying to me? The devil said, ah, congratulations. Instead of 15,000 naira, you only have 9,000. You have 6,000 balance here. You remember you have to struggle to put your own 5,000 in that money. This is an opportunity to take your own money away. God knows how you, have, you will suffer this month for adding that 5,000 to it. But right there, I rejected the offer of the devil. And I said, what I've given to God, I have given. I will not take back. On Sunday, when the newsletter was to be presented to the church, I explained to the church that there were three people who actually funded this known to God. And from their contribution, we have a balance of 6,000 naira left. And as we are launching the newsletter, they are the first launchers. And I dropped that 6,000 naira in the box for everybody to see. And others can now join us to launch the newsletter. And when others joined, we had a wonderful time. In the evening of that same Sunday, someone who had forgotten me remembered me. And he gave me a cash of 10,000 naira. A long-term debt which somebody had honed me, which I had written off to the tune of 25,000 naira at that time, that same week, was miraculously paid back. On Friday of that same week, someone also sent me a check of 25,000, of 20,000 naira. And I said, this is what the devil wanted to deny me. When he told me, to take back my money. Who says obeying God and giving does not yield bountiful harvest? Today, I want to encourage you give your offerings rightly to God and write early. God will lavish you with blessings. Let your offerings speak blessings, favor, and breakthroughs in your life. I want to admonish you so into God's kingdom and you will never lack anything good. May, your, may you so. What we yield on the noble blessings your life. I want to pray for you. Heavenly Father, as many who have heard your word, speak to their hearts. When the devil comes visiting, help them to say no and let them hear you and obey your voice. And they will never be denied what you have in store for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Till I come your way next week, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.